Hi guys, I hope you're all well and keeping safe during the lockdown. As I'm sure most of you are finding jobs to do during this time, our engine bay has been on our to-do list since we bought the boat in August last year. We are going to degrease and thoroughly clean our engine bay and then use Furtan, which converts the rust into a paintable surface and prevents new rust forming. We will then apply a primer and use a bilge paint which will complete the job. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and this is Stephen. And along with our two dogs, Hugo and Coco, we live full time on board our 37 foot narrowboat, Grayswood. After living nearly two years in our self converted camper van, we decided we needed more space. We spent six weeks renovating the insides before moving on board full time. Follow us on our narrowboat journey where we will show you what it's really like living on the English waterways whilst having full time jobs. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Right, okay, we just gave the engine bay a wire brush, we're finished with that now. Um, it might not seem like we've done a lot, but when we got the boat we actually did do the two sides underneath the engine, underneath the prop shaft. We just need to do on top of the swim, because we hadn't done that part yet. And once we've done the degreasing with this uh, Sea Safe Star Bright Cleaner and Degreaser, right, so we'll be fur tanning it. We'll be fur tanning the entire lot, and we've got to leave the fur tan sit for, again, like we said, 24 hours and wash it away. The reason we chose this one is because um, it's biodegradable, because obviously, as I'm sure some of you may know, we have a bilge pump in there. At the moment we do get water in there and when we pump it out, anything we pump out we want to be sure it's safe because obviously there's a lot of wildlife we live in the canal. Here we are spraying the degreaser all over the engine bay. We are applying a lot of degreaser as our engine bay hasn't been cleaned in a really long time. We are using the mop to rub in the degreaser, some of the areas we couldn't reach by hand. We spent a lot of time degreasing as the paint won't stick if there's any oil or grease left over. After we mopped the engine bay, we hoovered to make sure there was no dirt or dust left over. Right, okay, so now we wire brushed it all again and we've hoovered it two or three times. We're going to put fur tan on it now. Now what this stuff does, it will kill the rust and it gives us a paintable surface to put it on. So, um, as you can tell, it's well used. I've used this a lot of times on cars in the past or on the boat itself, we used it in the water tank to prepare that for um, our bitumen paint that we put on there. As you're going to see in a second, fur tan is very watery, so a little bit of it actually goes a long way. All that I've just put in there should probably do both sides of the swimming, probably even under the um, prop shaft. So I'm just going to use a extender rod on the roller to apply it. So I'm just going to apply it with a foam roller. Like I say, a little bit goes a long way, but we'll make sure it's all done. So when doing this stuff, gloves is recommended because like it's quite nasty stuff. I mean, if you could smell it or you've ever used it before, you know the smell's quite horrible as well. So you want a nice ventilated area to do it as well. Right, so now we've finished fur tanning. We've got to leave it for 24 hours now. What happens is the third time we do its magic. I don't know how it works, it just works. And then um, what it does, it leaves behind a black powder. So before we paint, we need to wash off that black powder. We just mop it off, just with a bit of, just with a damp mop. Wait for that to dry out, and then we can get our bilge paint on. But again, we've got to wait till tomorrow to do that. Right, okay, so it's the next day now, so our fur tan is all set, so it's doing what it needs to do to the metal. What I had to do, and you probably have to do it yourself if you're taking on areas this large with a fur tan, is because it's rolled on, some places it might not get completely. So I just came out with a spray bottle about three hours after applying it and just reapplied a bit more fur tan to the areas that it hadn't got. You can tell normally because it turned, 
like, like I said earlier, it turns black. But if it stays brown, obviously you need to spray a bit more on it. So now all we're going to do is going to grab a mop and we're going to mop out the dust now. And then it will be ready for painting once that is dried. We use detergent and clean water to rinse the fur tan. Again, we want to clean it as best we can so the paint will stick. Okay, we're adding another step to our engine bilge painting. So I know you, some people out there might not like this, but when we was emptying the bilge, we found some um, Hammer Eye number no. one Rust Beater Grey. It kills rust, primes, and undercoats in one. Now, one thing I wasn't sure with the bilge paint was whether we need to prime it anyway. So we're going to use what we've got. We want to use this to do two coats of primer or one depending on how, how well it goes on and then we'll go on top of it with the uh, bilge paint afterwards it's just so we can make sure it's going to stick to something top of the fur tan killing rust this is an extra barrier that will remove any rust we might have missed and also further protect the engine bay the hammerite as a primer will also make for a better surface when we apply the bilge paint Okay, so now we've got the engine bay primed, we're now going to paint it with our bilge and locker paint from TMAC. So this is oil and chemical resistant and it's going to give it a nice glossy finish in there. Um, it's looking loads better with just a primer on there, so I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. The bilge paint is really thick, so it needs to be stirred well until it has a watery consistency. With the primer, we applied using a roller with an extendable arm and a paintbrush for any crevices. Now we've finished uh, painting it with our top coat, our bilge paint. Um, we're actually really pleased with how it's come out. The bilge paint has left it nice and glossy as well, so it's lightened up the area a lot so we can see if we have any oil leaks or any other issues in the future. So now coming in our next video, we're going to be starting to tidy this top deck up because it is a bit rotty and Kay likes to sit out here. So it'd be a nice area for us to use. It probably won't be a finished one because it's just going to be a primer that's going to go down and maybe a top coat on. In the future we'll be repainting the entire boat uh, so we're just tidying this area up just so we can use it this summer that's all. We hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode.